How are you doing? The pocket reader, welcome back to the home of the dopest entertainment commentary ever. Do smash that subscribe button, hit the notification bell so that you can join the fun readers gang, gang, gang. Um, so Frankie has come out to issue an actual apology to Corazon Komboka, Maureen Waititu, and he went on Lynn Gugu's show. And I'm telling you, honey, child, boo -boo, this man, it's like, let me tell you. You know, when he went to Simulizi in Saudi, yeah? so that's the video that he came out and said, Frank, eh, Corazon Kwambo come out ready to have daddy issues. That was him speaking. Then on this other front, I swear, I suspect someone talked to him and told him you have to go to Lin Gugi and you have to go there and sanitize and you have to make it right. Like let people see the other side of you because this was literally like flipping the fringing coin baby you know it's like he was not in his element when he said those things he said about the issues and whatnot but that was him so anywho frankie sits on lingugi and this is what he had to say in part to a one corazon kwamboka what was the cause of your breakup firstly oh have you guys broken up at all or you're just taking a break no i, I think i think we've broken up you're done yeah but firstly i want to apologize to corazon that uh, that statement within that interview, I think it was it wasn't my part to say, um, especially to talk about the situation that you've you've been through. It wasn't my my part to say that, and um, the intentions behind that was pure. It was very pure, but obviously it came out the way it came out, and I know it hurt you in. Um, a major way and you felt like uh it was a betrayal on my end but definitely i'm always on your side and i'll always fend for you over anyone else so sorry about that that's for you to speak on not for me yeah, yeah. thanks for doing that yeah, yeah. okay so he it was literally like a therapy session <laughs> gosh i watched it and i was like okay whoever you know gave frankie that pr script i say i think i know who it is but we're just gonna give that person the accolade so anyway he again pulls it back and he issues an entire apology now this is in part to a one maureen Wachitu. this is what he said maureen i'm definitely sorry for putting you through what um you went through in terms of i tried to cut you off when in that situation i think we could have had a much better uh, bond and understanding of how to deal with that situation all right book outs guys um I think like, if you watch Simulizi Nesauti and you watch Lin Gugi, two different people. This one, he was more vulnerable, more soft, he was more appealing. And, you know, it is a thing that is done because if you want to appeal to the corporates, some of these things have to be done. You have to sanitize, I beg. So, I really want to hear what Maureen Waititu has to say because he also said he's not seen his kids for two years, straight up. Two whole years after they made those massive videos calling each other, and that was 2020, bruh. Now it's 2022. So I really want to know what Maureen Waititu has to say because even if you try and sit here and act like for me, I am a good person, I'm trying to work towards things, it's the women who always have this say. And you know, said, you know, even wrote that love message to Corazon was like, you know, I love you, blah, blah, blah. Like, okay, what's happening? So anyway, um, let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section down below. I'm going to chop these things up into reels. Like, I think I'm going to do like three shots here on YouTube um, of some of the extracts that maybe some of you will not get to see here. So do subscribe, hit notification bell, and I will definitely see you again in the next video. Thanks for watching, guys. Au revoir. I still do. It's just unfortunate that um, things didn't work out the way they were supposed to work out and um we we went through a lot after the breakup that just kept on spiraling down that um, i ended up also losing myself and not really understanding what the end goal was supposed to be but um one thing i, I value so much about you is um you still allow me that access to the kids um you still let me be a father to those beautiful children of ours and um you allow me to co-parent with you quite well um you support me with everything that i do and i'll, I'll continue supporting you as well 
and for the situation that happened before i fully apologize that was not something that i should have mentioned um uh, but i hope you get better i hope um you feel better and i love you Thank you.